Now I am going to give you few challenging questions. Let us see how fast we will solve. Okay? So here is your question. Ram has 18 chocolates. Rohan takes nine away from him. How many chocolates Ram has now? So did you understand the question children? Ram was having 18 chocolates, Rohan took 9 away from him. So what we have to do here? Again tens, ones, okay. 18 can be written as 1 ten and 8 ones minus, how many did Rohan take? Rohan has taken away 9 chocolates. So that there is no ones, no? So you will write here 0 and 9. So, what is the procedure? As I said, take away, right? So, 8 is less than 9. So, it is not possible for me to reduce from 8. So, I will borrow one number. This becomes 18 and this becomes 0. Yes? So, 18 minus 9. So, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 and 9. So, 0 minus 0 is nothing but 0. So, which means that Ram has now 9 chocolates left. Got it? Did you understand this question? Okay. So, the next question is Sohan had 50 rupees with him, he wanted to buy a book which costed rupees 65. So, by how much is he falling short? So, did you understand children? Here it says that Sohan is having 50 rupees with him. Okay. He wanted to purchase a book but that book costed him 65. So, which means that the money which he has in hand is not sufficient for him to buy this book, right? So, he has to get some extra amount in order to purchase that book. And you need to find out what is that extra amount which he has to fetch in order to purchase this book, okay? So, always in reduction or subtraction, you have to keep in mind that the bigger number will be the first word and then comes the smaller. Where we can regroup them and you can shuffle the numbers to get the answer. That is not possible in subtraction. In subtraction always from the higher number you will be reducing the lower number. Okay. So, here first tens, ones. So, the bigger number here is 65, right? So, we will write down here 65. What is the amount which Sohan has in hand? He is having 50 rupees with him, right? So, what is the balance amount? which he has to fetch in order to purchase this book. Okay? So, 5 minus 0 is 5 and 6 minus 5 is 1. So, he need to fetch extra 15 rupees in order to purchase this book. Is it clear children? So, did you understand this question? Shall we proceed further? The next question here is how much should be subtracted from 61 
to get 29. Okay. So, you should reduce some amount from 61 wherein your answer will come 29. So, how will you solve? Tens, ones, write down 69 here, minus, I am sorry, 61 here. minus 29. Okay. So, can you subtract 1 from 9? No, it is not possible. So, we need to borrow. It becomes 11. So, 11 minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Right? It will become 2 here. And this will be reduced by one number. So, 5 minus 2 is 3. So, my answer is 30. In order to check whether my this answer is correct or not, the question says that how much should be subtracted from 61 to get 29, which means 29. So, shall we try the subtraction? Okay. So, 61 minus and my answer what I got here is 32, right? So, let me see if I am getting the answer 29. If I get this answer, which means that my answer is correct. Okay. So, again 11, 11 minus 2, 10, 9 becomes 9 here. Then this will reduce by 1. So, 5 minus 3 is 2. So, am I getting this answer? Yes. So, which means my this answer is the right one. Got it? Is it clear children? So, coming to the next question, Raghu had 41 mangoes out of which 17 were rotten. What is the actual number of mangoes left with him? Okay. So, Raghu is having 41 mangoes in which 17 were rotten. So, what you have to do is tens. Ones. So, 41 minus 17. So, again you need to borrow from the tens. So, 11 minus 7, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. And this will become minus 1, 3. So, 3 minus 1 is 2. So, which means that he is having mangoes left. The next question is again little tricky. You need to find the difference between the largest And the smallest two digit number. Okay. So the question says that you need to find the difference between the largest and the smallest two digit number. So, how are you going to solve? First, tell me what is the largest two digit number? What is it? Just think and let me know. Very good. It is 99. Good. And what is the smallest two digit number? Good. It is 10. Right. So, you need to find the difference between 99 and 10. So, how we will solve? And 9 minus Eighty-nine. 
Is it clear? Did you understand? Okay. The next question says, Gauri has a book which has 78 pages. Okay. She finished reading forty nine pages. How many pages are yet to be completed? Okay. So Gauri is having a book which has got seventy eight pages and she has finished reading forty nine pages. So, how many pages are still remaining? That is a question. So, tens, ones. So, 78 minus 49. Again, you cannot subtract 8 from 9, right? So, you will borrow 18 minus 9, which is 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 and 9. And since you have borrowed here, this will be reduced by one number. So, 6 minus 4 is 2. So, she has to complete another 29 pages to finish the book. Clear? Are you clear with this? Shall we proceed further? <coughs> 